Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet the paintbrush to go with our paint palette. When crocheted using 8 ply and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 2.5cm by 17cm or 1 inch by 7 inches, the medium paintbrush crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 millimetre hook is 2 centimetres by 12 centimetres or 3 quarters of an inch by 4 and 3 quarter inches. This small paintbrush crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimetre hook is 1.5 centimetres by 10 centimetres or half an inch by 4 inches. This one, the one we'll do today, crocheted using Katona crochet cotton, is 2 cm by 14 cm or 3 quarters of an inch by 5 and a half inches. I'll be using the Katona cotton. I've got 390 Poppy Rose, 074 Mercury, 404 English Tea, and 201 electric blue. I've got a 2.5 millimetre crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and a needle and thread to stitch the paint to the tip of the brush. Now I'll start at the bottom of the handle so I'm using my 390 poppy rose and I make a magic loop. There's lots of different ways of making a magic loop. I like to just put my hook on my yarn, bring the short end over the hook and take the long end over the short end to make a circle. Then put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle. And there's my magic loop. For row one, I start with three chain and work one double crochet in the circle. A double crochet is called a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. And then we pull the circle tight so we take hold of the tail and ease the circle in. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn our work and work 1 double crochet in our stitch. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and turn our work and work 2 double crochet into the stitch. Rows 4 to 26 will work the same. We start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet put the hook in the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the two loops and we need a single crochet in our last stitch. That was row 4. So I'll continue working one chain and turn and work a single crochet into each stitch until I have my 26, 26 rows.
and that's the handle done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row I'm going to work one slip stitch into wedge stitch down this side around the bottom and then up the other side but not along the top. For a sti slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch not too far from the edge, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on our hook. So hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and straight through the loop on the hook. And the most important thing is not to pull it too tight so it keeps our work flat. So I'll continue working a slip stitch into each stitch until I get back to the top of the other side. Now I've worked my row of slip stitch right down the side, round the bottom and up the other side. So I fasten off and I'm going to work this little silver section next. So I join my 074, the Mercury, in the first stitch. And work two chain. And I'm going to work two half double crochet into each of the two stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook hook into the first stitch, the same as a chain, bring through a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. We need another half double crochet in that same stitch and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. and fasten off now I'll just weave in those ends to make it easier for you to see while I'm working this section here, the brush section now for the brush part we join our 404, the English T to the first stitch on the right side of our work. So this stitch here and work one chain. We're going to work two single crochet into the same stitch as a chain. and then one single crochet into each of the remaining three stitches. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each of the remaining four stitches. For 
for row three, we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on our hook, then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 4, we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 5, we start with three chain and turn. And we're going to work a joined double crochet over the two stitches. A joined double crochet is a joined treble using UK terms. For a joined double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn through two loops. Then put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We have three loops on our hook. <coughs> then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and fasten off. And that's the paintbrush part done. I'll just be back with my blue and I'll work the paint for the end. Now for the paint for the end of the brush, I've got my 201 electric blue and I make a magic loop. For row one, I work three chain and work two double crochet into the circle. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms, we put the yarn around the hook, hook in to the circle and bring back a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn through two loops. Then we need one more double crochet into our circle. Then we pull the circle tight. For row two we start with one chain and turn and we work two single crochet into each of our stitches. We'll have four stitches. For row three, we start with three chain we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two chain. Then we work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches on our work. So along the bottom there. And then we work three chain. Work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and one half double crochet in the next chain. and then slip stitch in the last stitch along the bottom and fasten off. Now 
and that's the paint part done. So I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. We've got the paint brush and the paint for the tip of the brush. So all we have to do is stitch the paint to the tip there of the brush part. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished brush. And there's the finished paint brush. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website, where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.